Let's look at the five steps of a normal interpretation sequence. Our first step is data preparation. In that step we would remove any portions of the data that we thought were inappropriate or in error. The second step is desuperposition. We'd like to know if this late time portion of the build up data is due to superposition effects or due to a boundary effect. If we make a plot as a function of rate superposition time or effective time, we see that this portion of the data is in fact not due to superposition, so we expect it to be some kind of boundary effect. The third step is diagnosis and model identification. We look first for the wellbore storage effect at early time. We go one and a half log cycles ahead and look for a flat region in the derivative characteristic of radial flow. Moving the straight line to represent that region makes our estimate of the permeability. The fourth step is nonlinear regression. Because we've identified a boundary effect, we would look for a model which has an, in this case, impermeable boundary with an estimated distance based upon the radius of investigation of 800 feet. Doing the nonlinear in regression in this case makes the best estimate which is consistent with this particular model. At the end of the nonlinear regression, we consider the match to the data and see that it is reasonable. And as the fifth step, we evaluate the confidence intervals and we find all of them to be within tolerance. So therefore our final interpretation is that of a radial flow model with an impermeable boundary approximately 800 feet from the well.